Research is a significant portion of the NYU educational mission here at the College of Dentistry, and we teach students that the discovery of new knowledge is also their responsibility, and we like to involve them in research as early as possible. We have an honors in research program where even starting from the first year of dental school, even in the summer before we start dental school, uh, we can apply and get enrolled in research. We choose our mentor, we, we send them emails, we talk to them, we decide what uh, aspect of research we want to be involved in, and then we apply. They can have an entire four-year experience in research. They can do research in a clinical setting, they can do research in the laboratory, but we really teach them that it's their responsibility not only to treat patients based on the information and clinical expertise we give them, but also to go and discover new knowledge so we have new approaches for treating patients. Dr. Schmidt is the director of the Bluestone Center for Clinical Research here at NYU, and I've been very fortunate enough to uh, be one of his student mentees and partake in a study that investigates oral cancer pain. So I looked at different kind of neurons and the pathways in which pain information is carried from the cancer site development, and just another step to go ahead and discover more about that whole pathway, which is unknown. The research that we generate here is very much at the cutting edge of where dentistry is today, and that's, that's a very remarkable place to be. I personally have mentored dozens of students in research projects. They actually sit and do these projects. They get to present them internationally. The school helps support the process. We really care about that. I'm happy to say that you know, I have a published uh, paper from the summer research that I can actually use. Even when I'm a dentist practicing in my own office, I would be able to refer to it. The paper that I did my research on was um, uh, calcium carbonate and different proteins, how to scaffold those proteins towards uh, fabrication of enamel in the future. And I think just by being here um, and getting the opportunity uh, to do such research and to even get a publication out of it speaks volume uh, for what the school can offer.